This is the unboxing of the Oculus Go standalone VR headset and of course also the first phase on try. All coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and if this is your first time here and you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. So here it is, the Oculus Go, the first standalone headset from Oculus. And it only cost you $199 for the 32 gigabyte version or $249 for the 64 gigabyte version. And I have to tell you guys, I'm kind of excited to check out what $199 buys you. So let's directly get to the unboxing. And here it is, the Oculus Go standalone VR headset box. Now on the box it says, thousand plus apps, games and movies, of course, thanks to the Gear VR apps. That's why we have so many apps here already. And in the box, VR headset, controller, battery and USB cable, everything that you need. You don't need a phone, you don't need a computer, that's great. And here on the back of the box, all in one virtual reality headset. We see Netflix, we see Discovery Channel, we see Rush, we see, yeah, lots of interesting apps and it says watch play and hang out so that's the most important right watch play and hang out so the social aspect the content consumption aspect everything is here qhd display yeah cool looking very much forward to check this out so let's open this now for the box design itself, I would say Oculus has done a great job. It really makes you want to check out what's inside. It kind of makes you exciting about what you can do with this $199 device. So on this front, very well done Oculus. Also for the size of the box, it is not huge at all. So even though there is a headset inside, it must be really cramped. And I don't think there's lots of space for other things in there. So that is nice. You don't have this huge box. So let's open the box now and see how it is packaged. Okay. So now the big moment is here. Yes. So this is the Oculus Go. Our first glimpse at the Oculus Go. And well, it's packaged in a very nice way. It directly greets you after you have opened up that box. And here you can see the controller as well. And there's a little black box with all the cables and everything you need. Cool. So let's check out the Oculus Go here for the very first time. So my very, very first impression is this looks and feels good. It feels like a quality device and for the weight it's not really heavy at 470 grams. It is around the same weight of the Oculus Rift. However, you don't have all these cables which will pull the device down as well. So here, grab your phone to get started. So you need to download an app and with this app you will do the first setup like telling the device where is your Wi-Fi, putting in the password and so on and so forth. So let's have a look at the face mask and at the lenses. So here the face mask, this is some kind of cloth and it feels great. It feels super nice, very comfortable, soft, but also not too soft. So it's not this cheap foam. It's some kind of uh, material that is also being used for this kind of diving suit. You know, this kind of foam neoprene thingy. Well, it does feel really nice and let's have a look at the lenses. So let me take off this foil here and let's have a look at them. So Oculus is very proud of those lenses. They say these are the best lenses they've ever built and well they do look good. They look really nice and I'm very very much looking forward to check it out and especially also of course to compare them with the Oculus Rift ones and with the HTC Vive Pro ones. Here on the side, you can adjust the head strap and um, this part here, you can change the angle. Also through this part, the audio is being brought to your ears. Here's the top strap. You can also detach it if you don't like it. And yeah, so you can simply adjust it to your head. Here you can see the microphone, one microphone here. And here on the side, you see the, the jack 
for the headphones and a micro USB connection. Here on top you'll find the volume rocker and the on and off button. And I think that should be it actually for the inputs. Yes, that's it. So again, for $199, it's a very, very sleek device. The build quality is really nice. I love that kind of neoprene, foam neoprene material for the face padding. And the whole thing looks fantastic for $199. So I can't wait to turn this on later and to, yeah, to check it out and later give you the full review here on MRTV. Good, let's get rid of the last protection foils here just to completely unbox this device perfectly. And then we can check out what else is in the box. All right, and that's it. Now, this is the Oculus Go. And again, let's see here this part here. Actually, you can totally detach it if you want. I'm not going to do that now here for this unboxing, but if you want, you can completely detach it. And yeah, you can wash it, for example. If you sweat it a lot, you can simply wash that part. That's great. So now let's have a look at what else is in the box. So this here is the controller. We have one controller, one three degrees of freedom controller. And yeah, we have this trigger button here. We have a touchpad on, on the top. Let's get rid of this. And two more buttons, which is very good. It's, a, it's a, a, a back button and an Oculus Home button. And the touchpad here is also clickable. So here's the back button. Here's the Oculus Home button. And again, the trigger. I'm really happy that there's a trigger, much better than the Daydream motion controller. And uh, well, let's open this department here. That's the department for the battery. So you will not have to recharge it. You can simply exchange the battery. So some people prefer to, to charge, but for me personally, I prefer to simply exchange the battery. All right, let's have a look at what else is here. This is the last thing that's in the box. It says Oculus Go, let's open it and let's check what's inside. So first of all here, what we can see here is the so-called eyeglass spacer. If you need more space, in your Oculus Go, you can use this here and simply put it behind the faceplate and then you will have some more distance between your glasses and the, the lens so you won't scratch the lens. So this is really useful. And then what else is there? Well, here's the battery. The battery is for your controller. Good, that's already there. And then here, Okay, the manual. And this is a little lanyard for your controller. So that is everything that is in the box. Let's get out the manual and see if there's something else there. Oh yes, of course, the cable, very important. The USB cable in order to charge your Oculus Go. And that's it. That's it for the unboxing of the Oculus Go. All right, this was the unboxing of the Oculus Go. And for my very first impression, I can just tell you that the quality feels really, really awesome. Just have a look at this, especially this material here. It feels very, very comfortable. The lenses look great. I'm going to check them out in the full review, of course. But I can just tell you like, wow, for the first impression, what you get here for $199 is kind of astounding. So, but now let's get to the very important part of each and every MRTV unboxing. And this is the first phase on try, the first test how comfortable or how not comfortable um, these devices are. So I think I would, I first have to make it a bit bigger since, uh, yeah, my head is quite big. So let me do that now. And on the other side as well, probably this will be better. And now 
Let me try this out for the very first time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does not feel heavy. There's lots of space for your nose, so I don't feel there's no pressure at all on the nose. That is really good. But also that means we do have a bit more light bleeding, light leakage than other headsets. But I will have to see how that works um, in the in-depth review, which of course you will be able to see here on MRTV. Yeah, but it does feel good. So it is not too heavy. Um, and for my very, very first, for my very, very first impression in this first face on, yeah, I would say this is very comfortable. Especially this, I have to show it to you again. This kind of cloth, it feels great. Okay, let me put it on one more time. So in general, as you know, I'm not a big fan of these ski mask type of headsets. I much more prefer the PSVR style headsets where the weight rests on your forehead. So that is not ideal in my opinion, but well, this is meant to be a portable device. And of course, since you have these straps, you can easily just make this very small and bring it with you. So. For the first, for the very, very early test, of course, I'm going to wear this for hours and then I'm going to let you know how it feels. But for the first phase on test, it feels good. It feels really good. Now, let me do the same with glasses. Let's see how well this works with glasses. So I have my glasses here. So these glasses are not, not very huge. Yeah, let's see. These are kind of normal glasses, I would say. So with the Oculus Rift, I cannot wear these glasses. It does not work. It's very uncomfortable. Let's see if it's better with the Oculus Go. So glasses are on. And yeah, wow, cool. There's no problem whatsoever. And I didn't even put in the glasses inlay. So that is really cool. And actually, I even it doesn't feel crowded now in, in the headset. Even though I have the glasses on, it does not feel crowded at all. It still feels like I have lots of space inside the headset. So this is already very, very good news. Yeah. <clears throat> so even with glasses, you can see how much space there is. Let me show you that. Yeah, look at this. There's still, there's still wiggle room here. So you see? So it fits in really very well and I think even people with bigger glasses shouldn't have any problems to use the Oculus Go over the glasses and that is really a big, big improvement over the Oculus Rift. Let's have one more look at the lenses here. Just check out these lenses. They look so good and um, yeah, looking forward to give this an in-depth review. So that's it for this unboxing and first face on try. I'm very much looking forward now to uh, yeah to turn this on for the very first time and to start with my in-depth review. Of course, the in-depth review, you will find it here on MRTV. So do stay tuned. Definitely um, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so yet. And also click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. So if you have any more questions about the Oculus Go, then please leave those questions in the comment section below or much better, why don't you directly chat with me? And you can do so on the MRTV Discord server. The MRTV Discord server is a great free resource that lets you chat with me and the MRTV community. It is totally free of charge and you can find it by going to the link which is in the description below. All right, that's it for this unboxing and first face on try of the Oculus Go. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.